Hello everybody, ZX9Green posting another video of my 10 foot single swinger gate. That's what they call it here on YouTube world. Um, I used some others videos, multiple videos to help me give, give me ideas on this one. So I wanted to help everybody else out. The issue I had was getting this trailer past my own, my old fence. Um, the dilemma I ran into was this was a two swinging gate. They had put the post four inches in, plus the post was four inches thick on each side. So I was losing a whole foot of space. Plus it was two doors that were opening that didn't open all the way. So I needed a 10 foot single swinger. Um, I talked to my neighbor. He was kind enough to let me put my single post. I did a two by six in line with his last edge. So you can see when I'm opened up, it gives me full same distance. Try to get a full picture of it. So I just have one hinge. Oh, it opens up all the way, actually onto his property. So when I'm backing in, I have no obstructions. I have a full 10 feet. Um, the, the other hard part was how I was gonna lock it into my home. The other side of this wall is my garage. I found the studs on each side. Found a piece of uh, the f fabricated wood or whatever you call it for the decking. Bolted that in to my um, two by fours after I marked them. I made a little, um, got the little latch, the sliding latch and made it in there. So that's where it locks so it can't swing back and forth. And then down here in the ground, I have it where it goes into the, to the hole right here. And I'll show you what it looks like on the fence. Sorry, it's kind of sunny out here. So there's the actual cylinder lock. And then I just have the standard one you've seen a lot of times it goes down into the ground. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and close it right now. Well, real quick, I'll show you what I did. I wanted it as little weight as possible because it was going to be so heavy. Now the one guy who does the big single swingers, he goes and stands on his gate and swings back and forth. Yeah, I can't do that on mine. It'd probably break, but I've had it up here for a couple months and it still swings really good. So you can see the style I used, kind of the T style, and it seems to be doing really good. Um, go ahead and close it. You'll see it closes really nicely and smooth, but you definitely can't. I'm not even touching it. It'll swing really nice, but I definitely can't jump on top of it. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did my hinges. So I did six hinges because I knew I needed a lot of um, strength. So I got my six hinges. I'll come in here real quick and show you how it locks up. So I just bring it right up, lock it in to the house right there, and then I come over here, lock the bottom in. And my trailer fits in here, and it looks all nice and clean, and it worked awesome. Thank you.